Hey everybody and welcome to a beautiful snowy children's church. I don't know if you guys can tell but the snow is still coming down and it is so so pretty. It's just like a beautiful winter wonderland here. I hope you've had a chance to get out and safely enjoy the snow. And you know what children's church is going to be about this week? That's right, it's going to be about snow. Did you know that snow is mentioned in the Bible? Uh, lots of things are mentioned as being uh, as white as snow, as being re as refreshing as snow. When Jesus is transfigured and goes back into heaven, it says in Mark that his clothes shined like snow, whiter than any laundry could get him. So we know that they knew what snow was like in the Bible. A lot of times, I know when I think about uh, where the Bible took place, I think of it like in the Garden of Eden, just being beautiful and warm. And then I think about it being in the desert. So, and I usually don't think about it being like snow, but snow is mentioned in the Bible and they knew what it was. So it's the same kind of snow that we have. They know that it was beautiful and that it was cool and then it was white. Look how white this ground is. I mean, it's just beautiful and clear and clean. And the story that I want us to talk about is in Psalm 51. This is when David, David is king, and David's been naughty. He's, this is after uh, he's done some bad things and gotten somebody killed, and the prophet comes to him, the prophet Nathan comes to him and confronts him with it. And it's like, David, you've messed up. You, you've done wrong, you've done bad, you have not done what you're supposed to do. And David, thankfully we know that David's heart was like God's heart and that David was sorry. And David has a beautiful, beautiful prayer to God about how sorry he was that he had done wrong. And I want to read part of that prayer. If I could reach back here and get my Bible and not drop the phone. This is in Psalm 51, verse 6 and 7. It says, Surely, well, sorry. It says, Surely you desire truth in the inner parts. I think that's so important that don't just look like you're doing right. Don't just look like you want to know the truth of God's word. You want it on your inner parts. You want to know the truth deep down inside you. You want to know what's right and you want to do it. So I think that's important. Surely you desire truth in the inner parts. You teach me wisdom in the inmost place. Again, that's for you, down in your in your soul where you know what's right and you want to do what's right. Cleanse me with hyssop. Now we don't know much about hyssop now, but that's it's like a minty soap that they used back to get the stink and the dirt off stuff. It smelled like mint. So clean me with hyssop and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. So what David's saying is, you know, Lord, I know I have done something wrong. I've done something really bad. But if you will teach me in my soul, if you will teach me in my heart to love your words and to do what's right, then all that dirt and that meanness and that bad that I've done will be washed away and I will be as white as this snow. And that's such a beautiful prayer and that should be our prayer every day that no matter what we've done, that we've disobeyed our parents or we've been mean or we've been selfish, no matter what we've done, God, if we seek God, he will clean us and he will make us as white as this beautiful snow. Well, I love you all and I hope you've had a good week off of school and I hope to see you all real soon. Bye-bye.